Welcome to our channel Learning Math. In this video, we're going to solve some problems and tricks in algebra which are very important for grade 9. We're going to solve in real numbers, radicals, uh, scientific notations, and system of equations. Now, let's start by the first uh, question. We have x plus y equals 1 minus radical 7. Calculate radical x squared plus y squared plus 2xy. If you know something, x squared plus y squared plus 2xy is x plus y all squared. Well, we have given the value of x plus y, which is radical 7. We just replace it, so it's radical 1 minus radical 7 all squared. Well, actually, square cancels radical. But can we write it as 1 minus radical 7? Sure not, it's completely wrong. Why? Square roots give us positive answers and not negative. We should check up our answer. We have 1 is less than radical 7. If we subtract smaller minus greater, it will be uh, negative. So we should reverse them to get a greater minus smaller to get as a positive answer. So we write it as radical 7 minus 1. Here is a positive answer. Now what about the second problem? We have A equals radical 3 minus radical 2, b equals 2 minus radical 6 over radical 2. Compare a square and b square, then deduce the value of a plus b. a square, isn't it radical 3 minus radical 2 all squared? Isn't it in the form of a minus b all squared? So it's a square minus 2ab plus b squared. We have the values of a and b. a is radical 3, b is radical 2. We just replace them by their values. Now let's solve them here. Radical 3 squared is 3 minus 2 radical 3 times radical 2. We should multiply numbers below the radical alone. So it's 2 radical 6 plus radical 2 squared. Square cancels radical, so it's 2. Here we can solve the numbers with each other. 3 plus 2 gives us 5 minus 2 radical 6. We copy it the same. Sure, we can never simple, uh, solve number with radical. So we keep it the same. What about b squared? So it's 2 minus radical 6 over radical 2 all squared. Well, we have here a fraction. We can distribute the powers. So it's 2 minus radical 6 all squared over radical 2 all squared. Now we can solve it here in the form of a minus b all squared over radical 2 squared. Sure, square cancels radical. Here we apply the rule of remarkable identity. So it's 2 squared minus 2 times 2 times radical 6 plus radical 6 all square a square minus 2ab plus b square. Radical 2 square sure gives us 2. Sure, we can never simplify 2 by 2 here. Since we have minus and plus, we can only simplify when we have times. Now we just solve the power. 2 square is 4 minus here 2 times 2, 4 times radical 6. So it's 4 radical 6 plus radical 6 square gives us 6. Now we can simplify the number. So 4 plus 6 gives us 10, minus 4 radical 6, we copy it, all over 2. Well, here also we cannot simplify neither 10 by 2 nor 4 by 2. We are still having minus. In order to be able to simplify, we should factorize them. We take a common factor. Note that 10 is 2 times 5 and 4 is 2 times 2. Now, can't we take 2 as a common factor? What remains for us? Here we have taken 2, what remained? 5, we write it. Minus 2, we copy it. We have taken 2, what remained for us? 2, radical 6. So we write it. Now we have transformed here into a product. Uh, we can now simplify 2 by 2. So what's the answer? 5 minus 2, radical 6. Note it's the same as a square. So can't we say that? b square equals a square. What? Well, Deduce uh, the value of a plus b. Actually, we can solve them, but when they ask us to deduce, we should depend on the previous part. We have just proved that a square equals b square. If we remove squares, can't we say that a equals plus or minus b? Well, how to solve it in this case? We should study the signs of a and b. You know that a is radical 3 minus radical 2 given. Radical 3 is greater than radical 2, so we can say that greater minus smaller than it's positive. A is positive. What about B? B equals 2 minus radical 6 over radical 2. Why it's negative? A sign depends on the signs of the numerator and the denominator. Sure, radical 2 is positive. What about 2 minus radical 6? 
it's smaller minus greater. Let's check it out. 2 square, we need to compare 2 and radical 6. 2 square is 4. Radical 6 square isn't a 6 greater than 4. So 2 is less than radical 6. Now aren't we uh, subtracting smaller minus greater? Then the numerator is negative. Minus over plus minus. Therefore, V is negative. Well, we have A is positive and B is negative. So can't we say that A equals minus B since they have opposite signs, one positive and one negative. Now, if we move minus B to the first side, shouldn't minus become plus? Then we have A plus B equals zero. Why zero? When we move minus B to the first uh, side, nothing remained here, so it's zero. Well, uh, now let's move to the other problem, which is also very important. We need to calculate 5 power 2021 plus 10 power 2021 all over 2 power 0 plus 2 power 2021. How to solve it? If you know something, 10 is 2 times 5. Can't we replace 10 by 2 times 5? Also here, what about 2 power 0? Isn't it 1? We can directly write it 1. Well, now here we have times. Can't we distribute the power over times? So it's 2 power 2021 times 5 power 2021. Well, can we simplify? Sure not. We have a plus on both sides, not only on one. We can only simplify with times. So how to solve it? We need to factorize. How to factorize? Search for a common here. 5 power 2021, 5 power 2021. Isn't it a common factor on both terms? So we take it as common. On the first side, nothing remains as if uh, from 5 power 2021 to 5 power 2021. What remains? 5 power 0 or you can write it directly 1. When we take a common and nothing remains, so it's 1. Also, we can say it's 5 power 2021 times 1. We have taken 5 power 2021. What remains for us? 1. We can write it directly in this case. Well, can we simplify? For example, 1 by 1 and 2 power 2021 by 2 power 2021? Sure not. Here we have also plus. Well, how to simplify them? We can write them as one term between parentheses. Now we can simplify all of it together as one term. So it's 1 plus 2 power 2021 by 1 plus 2 power 2021. Here we can write, uh, simplify them as one term united. Now what remains for us? 5 power 2021. This is very important. Now let's start by another problem. Here we need to show that this is a rational number. How to solve it? We have several methods. The first one, we can uh, apply the rule of remarkable identity directly. The second one, we can uh, replace 18 by 2 times 9 in order to simplify below the radical. Uh, all of them are correct. But here, if you know something, I will solve it by another method. What is this method? Here we have radical 3. If we write 18 as a 3 times 6, we get radical 3. We can take it as a common factor to factorize. All methods will give us the same answer. Well, here as you see, I have replaced 18 by 3 times 6. We copy the rest the same. But here, if you know something, radical 5 all square, square cancels radical, so it's 5. Well, here we can also simplify 10 by 5 gives us 2. So it's 2 times radical 6 to the power minus 1. What about this one? We have times. Can't we distribute radical over time? So it's radical 3 times radical 6 in order to take radical 3 as a common factor. Well, radical 3 is now common, but keep in mind we have them squared. So it's radical 3 all squared. Times, what remained for us? Here we have taken radical 3 as if it's 1 radical 3. What remained for us? 1. Plus, we copy it the same. We have taken radical 3 as common. What remained for us? Radical 6. Sure, we keep on the power 2. All over 80. Minus 2 times radical 6 to the power minus 1. Isn't it 1 over radical 6? So we can write it as 2 over radical 6. Well, we have no radical in the denominator. Shouldn't we rationalize it? So we multiply it by radical 6. 
and we multiply sure in numerator same as denominator. Now how to solve that? Here square cancels the radical. Radical 3 square is uh, 3. What about this one? Radical 6 times radical 6 is radical 6 squared. Also here 2 times radical 6 is 2 radical 6. We copy the rest the same. Now we can simplify 3 by 18, we get a 6 in the denominator. Sure, here we cannot say that radical 6 squared is 6. We have remarkable identity a plus b all squared. We should apply the rule a squared plus 2ab plus b squared all over 6. Now here also radical 6 squared gives us 6. If you know something, we are still needing to solve this power square cancels radical. So it's 1 plus 2 radical 6 plus 6 all over 6 minus 2 radical 6 over 6. Also here we have the same denominator. We can write them the same fraction. And we can solve the numbers together. 1 plus 6 gives us 7. Uh, sure, plus 2 radical 6, we copy it. Minus 2 radical 6, we can write it's all over 6 since we have same denominator. Now if you know something, we can simplify plus 2 radical 6 minus 2 radical 6. What remained for us? 7 over 6, so it's a rational number. Now let's solve these two questions. We have 2 over 3, all to the power n, times 3 over 2, all to the power n, plus 1. Here we have uh, over or divided by, and we have power. So we can distribute the power whenever we have fraction or divided by. We can write it as 2 power n over 3 power n. The same on the other one times we copy it, so it's 3 power n plus 1 over 2 power n plus 1. Now we can simplify. If you note here, same base. We have divided between them. We can subtract the powers. We subtract greater minus smaller here. n plus 1 minus n gives us 1. 2 power 1 is 2. What about this one? Here we can also simplify 3 power n plus 1 by 3 power n. Same base between them divided since one on numerator and one on denominator we subtract n plus one minus n and minus n cancel what remained one so it's a three power one which is three now what's the answer three over two here we have 100 times 10 power 2m equals radical 10 power 4 squared it's a trick and it's also very, very important. We need to calculate the value of m. First of all, 100 is so easy. We can replace it by 10 square. Why? We need to get the same base. What about here? The exponent is 4 square. What about square? If you note at the beginning, parenthesis means that the power is for all the terms. But here we are not having parenthesis. So the exponent 2 is for the number 4 and not for 10 power 4. If it's for 10 power 4, we should have written it between parentheses. 10 power 4 between parentheses all squared. But since there's no parentheses, this means that the exponent 2 is only for the number 4. So here 4 squared, which is 16. We just replace it by 16. Now, 100, which is 10 squared times 10 power 2, and we copy it the same, equals radical 10 power 16. This is very important. Well, on the first side, the same base between them times we can add the power, so it's 10 power 2 plus 2m. What about the other side? We have radical for even power. We have to divide it by 2 in order to simplify square with radical. So it's 10 power 8 or square. Here we added the power 2 plus 2m or 2m plus 2 plus is commutative. We can write it any way we want. So 10 power 2m plus 2 equals radical. 10 power 8 all square. Now we can uh, cancel square with radical. So it's 10 power 8. Well, if you know something here, we have same base on both sides. We have them equal. The powers are equal. So we can compare the power 2m plus 2 is equal to a. The exponents are equal. Now we just need to solve the equation in order to get the value of m. So 2m plus 2 equals 8. Then 2m equals 8 minus 2 equals 6. What about m? Then m equals 6 over 2 equals 3. This is very important. Now as you see here, we have a problem for system of equations. 
x radical 4 square plus 3 square minus y radical minus 2 square equal 24 and x over y equals minus 2 radical 5 minus 3 over radical 2. This is also very important. Show that the given information can be modeled in the system. As you see, then in part B, we need to reduce that x equals 4 and y equals minus 2 sure when we solve the system. First, let's start uh, to prove the system. To get the two equations, we should solve each information in the given alone. We have x radical 4 square plus 3 square minus y radical minus 2 square equals 24. If you know something, some students may uh, write it as x times 4 plus 3, which is completely wrong. Why? Radical is never distributed over plus, neither over minus. Here we need to solve it. 4 square is 16 and 3 square is 9. We add 16 plus 9 which will be 25. On the other side, here we have y radical minus 2 square. We need to solve this radical. Actually, square cancels radical, but can square root give us negative answer? Should it be minus 2? Sure not. So it's 2. 2 times y is 2y. So we can write it as uh, x radical here 16 plus 9 which is 25 minus 2y equal 24. Now radical 25 which is radical 5 squared equals 5 so 5x minus 2y equals 24. This is the first equation look at it isn't it the same here in the question so 5x minus 2y equals 24 we have proved the first equation in the system. What about the second we need to solve the second given. So here we have x over y equals minus 2 radical 5 minus 3 over radical 2. Sure, we cannot uh, distribute radical over minus. We need to solve uh, 5 minus 3, which is 2. So x over y equals minus 2 radical 2 over radical 2. We don't need to uh, rationalize. We can directly simplify radical 2 by radical 2. So we get x over y equals minus 2. Now if we move y to the other side, divided by becomes times. So x equals minus 2 y. Well, what uh, should we need to solve here if we move minus 2 y to the first side? Minus becomes a plus. We get x plus 2 y equals 0. This is the second equation that should be in the system. So if we model our system, we get 5 min, uh, 5x minus 2y equals 24 and x plus 2y equals 0. Here we have the two equations. Well, in part B, we need to find the values of x and y, so we need to solve this system. If you know something, we have minus 2y plus 2y. If we add the two equations, it will be directly cancelled. So we don't need to multiply neither the first equation nor the second one. We just write equation 1 plus 2, we add the 5x plus x, 6x, minus 2y plus 2y cancelled, equal, we write it, 24 plus 0 is 24. Now to find x, we move 6 to the other side, we have nothing between them times becomes divided by so x equals 24 divided by 6 equal 4. Well what about y? We can uh, use any equation we want or you can use here we have proved that x equals minus 2y. We can just replace it. x equals minus 2y. If we multiply by minus on both sides then 2y equals minus x so x uh, y equals minus x over we have x is 4, so we replace x by 4, then it's minus 4 over 2, so y equals minus 2. Now we have other problems. x equals radical 1 minus pi all square plus radical pi minus 7 all square. Show that x is a natural number. Well, how to prove it? Something which is very important. We can say that square cancels radical, but we have proved a lot that radical gives us always positive answer. You know that pi is approximately 3.14 greater than 1. Can we subtract smaller minus greater? It will be negative. So it's wrong. If we simplify square with radical, we need to write greater minus smaller. So it will be pi minus 1. Plus, we will copy it here. Pi minus 7, 3.14 is less than 7. Square cancels is radical, but we need to write greater minus smaller to get it positive. So, it will be 7 minus pi. So, we can say that x equals pi minus 1 square cancelled radical. 
we need positive answer so greater minus smaller pi minus 1 plus we copy it here greater minus smaller after cancelling square with radical to get it positive so it's 7 minus pi now if you know something pi minus pi cancelled what remains for us minus 1 plus 7 gives us 6 well here we have two lines d1 and d2 we have given their equations we need to prove that these two lines are perpendicular well in order to get them perpendicular we should multiply their slopes the slope of the first one is 1 over radical 11 minus 2 radical 3 which is multiplied by x the slope of the second one is 1 over radical 11 plus 2 radical 3. Now let's multiply the slopes. If you know something, we don't need to rationalize. We can here multiply them directly. But aren't they in the form here of a minus b into a plus b? Here, if you know something, a is radical 11, the same on both sides. Uh, b is 2 radical 3, the same on both sides. It's a remarkable identity. Sure, 1 times 1 is 1. We multiply numerator by numerator. Denominator by denominator, a minus b into a plus b. So it's a square minus b square. Now we have here square cancels radical. Also here we distribute the power since we have nothing between them as time. So it's 2 square times radical 3 square. Now here 2 square 4 times radical 3 square which is 3. 4 times 3 12. So it's 1 over 11 minus 12. 11 minus 12 is minus 1. Now 1 over minus 1 isn't it minus 1? Therefore d1 is perpendicular to d2. Finally, we're going to start by the scientific notation. We have 0 0.0045 times 10 power minus 1 all the power 4 times 23 times 2500 all over 18 times 10 power 2 times 0 0.125. First of all, we should get rid of the decimals. How to get rid of them? We can replace 0 0.0045 by 45 times 10 power minus 4. Why minus? Since we have a decimal number. Why it's minus 4? If you know something, how many digits in the decimal part? 1, 2, 3, 4. So it's times 10 power minus 4. Now what about this one? We have uh, 10 carrying two exponents. So we just multiply them. Minus 1 times 4 gives us minus 4. Four. times 23 we copy it 2500 we can write it as 25 times 10 power 2 since we are having two zeros what about the denominator we have here a decimal number we copy the rest this decimal number 0 0.125 we can replace it by 125 times 10 power minus 3 minus since it's decimal 3 we have one two three digits in the decimal part now we can start solving. If you know something, we can simplify 45 with 18. If we divide them by 9, we get 5 over 2. Also here we can simplify 25 by 125. We get here 5 if we divide both of them by 25. Uh, how can we solve also? We can simplify 10 power 2 by 10 power 2 and we can simplify here 5 by 5. What? If you know something, we can also simplify the negative powers of 10. Here, what remains first? 10 minus 4 times 10 minus 4 times 23 on the numerator. On the denominator, what remains for us? 2 times 10 power minus 3. Well, if we want to simplify, we can simplify numbers carrying negative exponents together. 10 minus 4 by 10 minus 3, we get here 10 minus 1. Now, what remains for us? 23, we copy it times 10 power minus 5 is what? We have 10 power minus 1 times 10 power minus 4. Same base between them times. So we add the powers minus 1 minus 4 gives us minus 5. All over 2. Now 23 over 2 isn't it 11.5 times 10 power minus 5 we copy it the same. But in scientific notation we should have one and only one digit in the integral part before the point which will be also different from zero so we have to uh, transform 11.5 into 1.15 but is it the same in order to keep on this number 11.5 the same we can write it 1.15 times 10 
to move the point by one digit to the right, we get the same answer, 11.5. It's 1.15 times 10, which is 10 to the power 1. What about the remaining part times 10 power minus 5? We copy it the same. Now, if you wrote something here, 1.15, we copy it times 10 power 1 times 10 power minus 5. Aren't they the same base between them times? So we just add the powers 1. Minus 5 gives us minus 4. Here, as you see, it's a scientific notation. It has 1 and only 1 non-zero digit in the integral part before the point. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please like, share, and subscribe.